Hello and welcome back to the amazing Chellington Farm where today we're going to be continuing with our grass field. Today we need to do some windrowing and also we need to do the actual baling because we're going to be doing silage bales. Um, I think that'll probably be all we do today though because it's obviously a huge field and just those two jobs will take a long time. But I will be doing this with the follow me mod so we'll be able to get things done in twice the speed basically. Um, so we've got the fent favorite LSA 611 um, so that will be doing the bailing I'll be in front with the class axiom and that will have the windrower on which is going to be the very large windrower so we're going to have to go and pick these things up I've already got the baler but the actual windrower I need to go and buy now here it is uh, I'm going to go for this middle one I could go for the really big one but then I think well one I can't afford it and two I think it's a bit bit too big, so the Pottinger I think will be good enough. So we're going to pick those up. I think I've got it set to follow me. Yes, I have. Fantastic. So we'll make our way down there. I'm not quite sure which way to go. Still trying to get used to the map. Um, yeah, I probably should go left actually out of here. Actually, going the wrong way. But the fence is following us. Hopefully it won't mess up at all. I have to come out of cab here because it's quite a blind view around the corner. Oh, the fence going to be crashed. Should get back on track. Now I know that quite a few of you don't like me using the follow me mod, but it's just so handy. So I don't think I'm going to stop using it. I know it can be unrealistic at times, crashing into me and other things, but really it is a very good mod, so I do like to use it. I'm actually amazed that this tractor can only do 26 miles per hour. It feels really slow. And it actually says we've got our handbrake on the dashboard. The beacon light goes on and off when I turn the beacons on and off, but... No, the handbrake... Um, no, don't know why that's on there. Unless that is another warning symbol which I can't quite see. Anyway, not to worry. I thought these two tractors were actually the same speed. But it may be slightly faster than that one. So I don't know if there's an issue with the sound then, but... I just noticed that he was making like a a funny sort of, uh, well, I don't know, like a loose connection kind of sound. I've just fixed it. Hopefully it wasn't showing up in the video just then, but it may well have been. But let's crack on. It shouldn't do that sound again if it did do it. We will uh, now connect to the equipment. We'll head over to the field. I have no idea where my fence has gone. Ah, looking at the minimap, it looks like it's stuck on the bridge probably crashed or gone over into the water. Let's go and have a look in a minute. Okay, so we'll put that there. And no, the fence just decided to randomly stop. It must have got too far away from me and lost track. Probably better if I drive it there anyway. Now everything about this fence is brilliant, I do really like it. It's just, for some strange reason, there is no bass in the sound. So it's like a really tinny kind of sound. It's still very good though. I'll hitch this onto the baler. Now if you're thinking this isn't a big enough tractor for that baler, I have looked into it. And the tractor is actually 100 and something horsepower. Yep, I've really looked into it. Uh, let's have a look here. 135 horsepower, and I believe the baler has a requirement of 70 horsepower, which leaves plenty of horsepower uh, to power that baler and to drive. So I think as long as it's in four-wheel drive when it's working, it should be absolutely fine. We will now head over to the field.
Now, I don't want it to go and crash into that transit van. It should be coming. Just sorting itself out. There it is. Slowly but surely, but yep, here it is. It's coming out now. Yeah, it should catch up with us okay. So let's go. Let's go to the field. So the egg drop-off point is at the pub just up here. I forgot to mention that in episode one, but it is somewhere around here, um, just down there, I believe. Oh, I've gone past it now. Just down here. That's for those of you who didn't know. Just drop them off there, and you get your money. I should have given time for the fence to catch up. Here he comes slowly. It's just slow, isn't it? I didn't realise it was so slow. And there's the sound, popping into view. Don't crash. You probably should ignore that. So on the right here is our field. You can just about see that castle through there. Apparently it's uh, the one from FS11. Which, to be honest, I, it's been such a long time since you played it, I, I didn't even realise. But um, yeah, it could well be. It does look similar. So we need to make our way around here, go on the next road to the right, and then right again, down the bumpy track, um, and then right again actually, into the field. Probably uh, better if I don't let the fence catch up because it sounds really bad when it's following us. But yeah, we mowed it all. All looking very good. Obviously, I'll show you in a second if I don't miss my turning. really just test the suspension to the limit. Or actually possibly not suspension as such, but you know the pivoting front axle, the cab suspension, seat suspension. I can imagine it would be very bumpy actually. You'd probably hit your head on the uh, roof quite a lot. Just remembered we had to reverse the tractor back because it opens this way the gate. So we'll open that up and we'll jump back into our class, go through here, and we can get to work. If you didn't watch episode uh, 2, probably best that you did, because we were cutting this field, uh, but it is absolutely huge. It's going to take a long time to do. That's why I'm using the Follow Me mod. I'm just trying to think of the best way of doing this, actually. Obviously, this is a very big windrower. I've got the big tractor but uh, yeah if I can find my fence I will get it started ok here goes this should be very interesting I'm really hoping it's going to work well I don't think I'm going to do in cab too much as it is so wide but it should be able to bail it all properly I don't want to miss anything either now at this point it's probably a good time to say that I have set the growth rate to slow. We're also playing in real time so we shouldn't have to worry about the grass starting to grow through before we finish the job. Also the withering is off. did mention that in the previous episode. Uh, yep, that seems to be working. Now the key here is that I don't go too far in front. Because if I do, it's going to lose me. And I'll have to reset it all. Um, and it would just really slow everything down. So if I just stay at a nice steady pace probably a little bit slower than the baler because it has to keep stopping then this should all run very smoothly missed a little bit there but you know the odd bit it's going to happen it's 
especially if I'm driving. I think actually 10 miles per hour is a very good speed. So I'm going to set my little uh, cruise control to 10. And we'll just keep going round. Yeah, keep bailing. And get the job nicely done. I didn't go right to the edges, I think I did explain this before, and you can see now it's because it is so bumpy. It doesn't look too bumpy, but when you're trying to cut it and actually do any work on it at all, it really is quite bumpy. So that's why I couldn't go right to the edge if anyone's going to comment and say uh, that I've wasted space there. That is my genuine reason behind it. But it is such a huge field anyway, this is going to be like a lifetime supply of silage bales. We should get loads out of this. And at this point I might as well say as well that I'm not going to use the telehandler to move these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the auto stacker and I'm going to sort of stack them in the field near the gate where we came in. And then when we need them we'll probably take a trailer load at a time and take them to the yard. But we'll store them in this field for now. So I'll tell a lie actually, I am going to use the telehandler to move them but just not straight away. We're getting a bit in front here, but it's not going to lose our track. I've managed to go right round the field and lap the tractor before they follow me, lost me. Although it did lose me on the bridge, which was a bit weird. Unless I accidentally pressed the cancel button. It's a shame I don't have the bale counter with me, actually. Because it, obviously if you go in that tractor, it'll tell you how many bales it's done. It's a shame you can't sort of get it onto this tractor as well and see how it's progressing. Obviously I can see in the inspector mod there on the left hand side of the screen it's emptying now because it's on 100% uh, but I can't see how many bells it's done so it would be nice just sort of out of interest. I think we'll go straight over here and then go around again. Good way of doing it. I will just knock my speed down a little bit though, just to 6, and that should allow it to catch up a bit. It just gives me time to take in this map, it's just amazing. Really good. I always find the lighting of a map affects the realism of the map. I commented on this on my first episode on Coral Park Farm, and I find I found that lighting different to like the original map more realistic but this map again seems to have an even more realistic atmosphere I'm not sure what it is that the modder does or the mapper does uh, but it, yeah it really does improve the realism I'm sure it comes down to the, the lighting the colouring and the lighting to be honest I don't know much about it but hopefully you know what I mean there's a bell from before it turned a bit too late there actually but yeah it's going to take a long time this is one massive field it's slowly catching up but it does have to keep stopping which slows it down again but yeah I, I still don't mind doing the speed actually because what's the fun in going full pelt at everything you may as well take it steady and uh, taking the map, sit back and relax. It's actually getting a nice even distance between each bale, and there aren't that many bales really. Obviously, when this is all done, there's going to be a lot of bales, but from bale to bale, between each bale, it's a fairly reasonable distance. So it shouldn't be too hard to do all the bale wrapping. It's going to take a long time, but you know it shouldn't get boring. It's going to be a big job. I'm trying to think of a good tractor to do it with, actually, because this one's really big. That one over there probably actually is quite a good one to do it with. Fairly mid-range horsepower. I will be interested to see how many bells it's done though. Can't wait to see that.
Now this is where it gets a bit trickier. I think I'm going to have to actually go straight over again, because otherwise this tractor behind me is going to get confused. You know what it's like. I don't want to knock that other bale though. And then next time around we'll have to go back up the other way and then come back round the field the opposite direction. Even better idea, I've come back on myself here, which means I can cut across again for the final time, and then go back around this way, turn that off. Luckily it didn't drop a bale just here, wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. And then, yeah, basically, go up here. I can continue to go around the field in the same direction, just not in exactly the same way, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. Now it's a bit steep going up here. I was debating whether or not to cut this when I was doing it. And I probably shouldn't have done actually. Seriously steep. There was a bit that I did leave around the corner here because it just was ridiculously steep. I'll show you it in a minute. Although when it's uploaded to YouTube it might not even look too steep. But you can sort of see I can drop there. That's where I haven't done it. I just come down here. You can see that bank there hasn't been cut. That's the bit I'm talking about. It actually gets worse when you go around it. Oh dear, someone couldn't manage it. I'll have to help it along a bit. I forgot to put it in four wheel drive actually. And that is probably the reason why. Although, no, it still can't manage it. The diff lock. There we go. That's got it. Now we're in the baler, we can see how many bells it's done. 21. That's not too bad. Quite happy with that. Let's get it back on course. And follow us for the rest of the field. Well, I've just gone and checked on it. It's done 42 bales. So, uh, not too bad at all. Maybe a little bit less than I was expecting it to do, actually. But it's good because uh, I've got a big job to wrap them, so uh, I'm not too bothered. Um, but yeah, you can see we're getting closer to the end now. It's doing a fantastic job. Really enjoying this. I've been looking forward to doing this episode for, well, ever since I did the uh, episode 2. So, uh, a bit less than a week. It's just such a fantastic map. The Follow Me mod also seems to be keeping on track, despite me racing ahead. So, it, it, I'm quite impressed by that. I've only ever lost track from it once or twice before and today only on the bridge. Here it is. You can tell by the sound. 
But yeah, almost done. So it's not going to take too much longer. I've done it all in real time, so if you go back to the beginning of the video, uh, if you're that dedicated to watching, uh, then you'll see exactly how long it's taken to do this video. I've not done any stops. I've been going the whole time. A little too steep here, really. I really should not cut that. But, yeah, I know it's... Uh, it, it should still be okay with the bailer, but ideally it shouldn't have been done. In fact, it might be a better idea to go sort of that way across it. That is uh, a bit too steep. Here goes the final little bit. I've allowed the fence to catch up with me as well. Just so it's not too far behind. And there we go. Field completed. We'll get this folded up again. We'll take them all back to the yard. Because if I leave all the machinery here, I'm bound to forget. And then I'll start recording tomorrow's episode. And I'll come here with the next tractor. And all this will still be here in the field. So I'll take them back. Just makes it easier. I'd better just turn everything off with the baler. How many did it do? 48 bales. Not bad at all. Now I just have to wrap 48 bales. That's going to be quite interesting. Okay, so I want to keep quite a distance in front, like I say, because of that noise. It keeps appearing keep hearing the fence. We'll make our way back to the yard. There is that low bridge but it hasn't got a collision on it so hopefully we won't have any accidents. This is actually lower than the mower. Lower than the mower. So we shouldn't have any issues. back. I love that you can also see the train bridge over there, over the field. That's what the train goes over. Now we should be, I hope, okay going through here. Just have a look. Yeah, perfect. Good clearance. It wouldn't have hit anyway, it's just a bit unrealistic. But I need to find places for these now because we've bought two pieces of machinery. They need to go somewhere. We do have plenty of sheds, but it's just, you know, finding a good place for them. Obviously not in the grain store, but there is a shed just up there. Also, there's the tractor sheds uh, down here. This is good for bales. And I'll just stop that noisy fence. Um, that's quite a good place. Um, this could actually go in there. We'll probably need this tractor again tomorrow, so I'll just park it here. And that should be okay. So, very nice tractor. Thoroughly enjoyed using that today. It's done a very good job. Uh, the Fent also good. I like it as a nice uh, little farmyard shunter kind of tractor. 
and for powering low horsepower required implements. Uh, probably not something I want to do corn carting or something with. You can actually see it's got dirty. That was clean before we started today. Uh, I think I'll just put it in here because I might not need it again for a while. That drill is actually in the starting position so that needs to be moved. Uh, but there we go. That is today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know Chellington is a very highly requested map. So uh, hopefully this has been up to everyone's expectations. Uh, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it and we'll be continuing again tomorrow. So thanks for watching and bye for now.